And let y'all know that God has made me a legend. One day I was a baby and my mother said when she had me in the hospital that an angel had came to visit her. So I was a, ba a baby. I didn't have no clue that I was going to grow up and become and be a God legend of hip hop. But my mother said the angel came in the room and she said she could smell turkey like Thanksgiving. And she said the angel told her that I was going to be a preacher. But I became a preacher of hip hop, of rap music. That's why I'm half hip hop and half Christian. And that's why I rap the way that I do. I have a totally different style from any other man. I do not serve Satan. I do not believe in him. But God has gave me a talent. And for the rest of my life, I'm always use it for God. So with that being said, as a baby, God set me on the New Bern Clock Tower. If you don't believe me, research the New Bern Clock Tower and look at the real clock tower with the bear on top of the clock. Look how high that bear is on the air. Picture being six or seven hundred thousand feet in the air and you on a little tiny bear and you can fall and break your neck or your arm or your leg or you could just die because you're so high in the air. But God sat me on that bear, and he was letting me know as a kid, you was going to be my legend when you grow up, and when you really become a rapper. So in the process, I got married to this girl named Riri Foy. So she took my last name, Eaton, and we had, we had a lot of people together. And so we had a good relationship, but she was standing there, and she started cheating on me. She loved me. She got another man. She had kids by some other guys, and so we had to split up. So I split up. So one day, she came back to me, and she said, I want to date you in case you become a famous rapper. So, I tried to rap, but I couldn't rap. It was like the lyrics and the words would not come out right. I was not professional at that particular time. So, one day, I stood there, and I became a rapper. And, I mean, it was right after I made that song, God is Your Water. And Daddy Paul and New Burn Clock and What You Do in the Burn. It was right after I made that first album. But I was sitting there. And the next thing I know, the devil showed me a dream of a Carolina rapper that he had. And the devil had, had said, make this song called Hell After Birth. Name your album it wasn't a song. He told me to name my album Hell After Birth. And the devil showed me the Carolina rapper that he had. And he told me to name my album Hell After Birth. So I'm in the dream. I, I wake up. And I was living in Wind Hill in New Bern. So that particular time I was smoking weed, drinking beer, partying, chilling with people. But when the devil came to me and told me, name my album Hell After Birth, I had to think long and hard about that. When a woman has an afterbirth, the doctor has to cut the afterbirth off so the child can get their navel clipped. So basically, the devil wanted me to name a song for his son. But I thank God and Jesus I never done that. I thank God and Jesus that I stuck with God and I kept being the God legend. So when I started rapping on MySpace, I was using God legend. And back then, people wouldn't make songs for God.
They would make more songs for Satan than what they made for God. And God was not cool at that particular time. And 20 years ago, it was all about Satan and God was not popular at that particular time. So I'm waking up in the music, in the rap game, and I said, hey, I'm going to name myself God Legend. Tupac was the thug life. Biggie Smalls was notorious. And God Legend stands for Reggie is a legend of God in hip-hop music. Yeah, I curse. Yeah, I talk street shit. Yeah, I smoke weed. Yeah, I talk to women. You know, I'm still an average motherfucker, but I'm not no punk. I'm a real-ass rapper. And the shit that I say, can't nobody say it but Big or Park or Nas. You know? So, all this shit was going on, and I just kept rapping. And I grew to be so powerful. Now God write the music in my head, and he put it in the heart, and it come out the mouth. But I'm not going to tell y'all everything about that because it's personal between me and the Lord. But that's what I wanted to share this story with you on Facebook. Thank you for listening.